The next part of the stock pitch competition is perhaps the funnest part, which is where we forecast what we think the company will grow in terms of revenues and profits into the future. So how do we go about forecasting revenues and the financials of company? Um, the first place to start with is in the stock pitch report template, there is a box where you can double click and have access to the Excel files um, where you can put in the past revenue or the past sales of the company, the past EBITDA or operating profit of the company, and then the past margins, profit margins of the company. And you can get this data from Yahoo Finance or from other online sources. And so when forecasting the future, you want to think about the past. So think about the past five years. Um, if you're pitching Apple, for example, what made the company grow in the past and what would make the company grow in the future? So if Apple sold, sold 500 million iPhones three years ago and they sold 700 million iPhones uh, in the most recent year, then they're growing the number of shipments that they're selling. Another way that companies can grow is they can increase prices. So maybe the amount of shipments every year is the same, but the company is raising prices 10% every year. Warren Buffett invested in Seize Candy, and Seize Candy was a premium um, brand chocolate maker coming from Southern California. Um, but, it, but it priced pretty reasonable, and so when they bought the company, they just increased prices year after year, and this, this generated tremendous growth and a great value for shareholders. So, so when you think about growth, is it, is it, are they selling more of the products or are they raising the prices in the products? Or are they introducing new products or new geographies that are accelerating the growth? And so this will help you think about the revenue growth of the company. The next item is what, is, what are the profits that they're making on this revenue? So are the, are the new um, iPhones that Apple is selling, does it cost more to manufacture these products? Or is the cost decreasing and the price increasing so the profit margin will rise in the future? So these are the questions that you can think about when forecasting the financials of the company. But in your stock pitch report, you want to think about what are the key um, points that I want to highlight of why I think this is a good investment. And again, think back to your investment thesis. Why do I think the revenue can grow or the profits can grow that the market may not be giving it credit for? So do I think it can sell more products? Do I think it can enter a new territory? Do I think it can generate more profit on the same amount of items sold. And this will help you forecast the financials, which will lead you to creating a target valuation for your company. But before you can come to the target price, you need to have a good, solid reasoning on how you got to the forecasted revenues and the forecasted earnings and profits and cash flows of the company that you're pitching.